all right guys we're gonna go ahead and start with my mirror this was a gift from my boyfriend about three years ago for my birthday and i really love it um it's very big and i love how bright it can get so you can actually dim um the lights from here and go super bright and then there's also usb ports and plugins for your like flat irons on the other side which we'll get to this desk i got from target not too long ago i think sometime last year so it might still be available um it's pretty spacious i downsized a lot from like alex drawers like the ikea ones um since i don't have that much makeup anymore i think it's perfect to store in here and it's a lot smaller but it's still big enough for me um and then this chair i got this from tj maxx you can probably find some on wayfair um or like home furniture stores as well it's pretty nice it's very big um however it does sink in a little bit so i like to put a pillow sometimes to raise me up over here i have this little tray with like a bunch of lip balms like this is my favorite lip balm from buxom it's really really good and a bunch of like little new stuff that i recently got and that tray is from Marshalls. Over here, um, this is where I was saying that the USB ports can connect and your wires or your plugins, which is really nice for when you're getting ready. It makes it a lot easier so you don't have to reach for, you know, a longer cable or something. And then over here, I have a little cup um, from a Marshalls and I just keep like lip liners, some glosses, like Fenty, Milani lip liners. I have a roller ball in here from Marc Jacobs some little hair trimmers, that kind of thing, like everyday things that I use. So that's really cute. And my charger for my Apple Watch as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the drawer and I'll show you guys what my makeup looks like. We're gonna go ahead and start in this section first. So right here, I keep all of my like base products. So my foundations, powders, and primers, and all of that fun stuff. Um, I have these foundations from the drugstore, which are like my favorite drugstore foundations. I really like the Maybelline one, and then the Wet n Wild, the Dewy, and the Original. I do have some high-end foundations like the NARS, um, Too Faced Born This Way, which isn't my favorite. The NARS one is really good though. It's um, pretty full coverage, but it's very lightweight. And then I have some concealers like e.l.f., a contour stick from Maybelline that I really like. Uh, this is my favorite primer. This one's from Urban Decay. It's the All Nighter. This is my favorite powder, if I can open it. You can see I literally have like used up so much of it. It's my favorite. So I love that. My favorite concealers are the Tarte Shape Tape concealers. I really love those. Oh, and then my favorite and only loose setting powder is the laura mercier one that one is really really good it's like super flawless i will always get compliments when i wear it so i have all of the base products there and then over here i have setting sprays the smashbox one i'm actually almost out of it's really good it's like hairspray for your face um these were a gift for christmas from my parents which i love they're my favorite this one the milani is really good too it really does keep your makeup on for like the whole day okay let's go over here so the thing about this desk is that it doesn't pull out all the way um but it's fine i mean i like to kind of tuck things away that i don't really use um back there so and yes i have one hand painted don't mind me okay so i'm gonna try to take this out to show you so here I have some stuff that I use every day and then like miscellaneous things. So I have like a Buxom lip balm that I need to finish up. My favorite uh, bronzer, which is from Tarte. This one is really good. Let me just show you what it looks like. See, that's what it looks like. And then I have a Tom Ford quad that I recently purchased. It's so pretty. Look at that. Super pretty. So I keep that in here. I have my favorite highlighter when I do wear it. It's the Wet n Wild one. Like it's literally almost like, look at this. I hit pan on it and it's like broken, but it's still good. I have a ColourPop Soul Body Highlighter, which is pretty big. So I have that there. And then I have some Tom Ford drops over here. 
uh, a bare minerals blush which is really good actually it stays on literally all day mine's all dirty but it's really good i have two mark jacobs lipsticks which i don't really use um and then i have a physician's formula butter blush a lip balm from the body shop a glitter liner from urban decay a nars eyeshadow primer and then a baby gimme brow from benefit so all of that is in here and i just keep it in this basket um because i don't like things to kind of roll everywhere so i kind of keep them in little clear containers as i find them so that's that here i have a little tray from like ross or something or tj maxx and i kind of just put my um i was gonna say utensils my tools in here like my lash curler a nar sharpener two lash glues tweezers brow gel a anastasia pomade eyeliner and my favorite mascara when i use it is the ilia mascara super good it's great for lengthening so i just keep that tucked in right there and then moving on over here is where i have all of my palettes i don't have a lot i mean i have a good amount um but i don't really purchase too many palettes because i don't wear eyeshadow all like that anymore um i prefer like you know spending my money on bronzers and foundations and stuff like that um but i'll show you guys what they look like so i just got this not too long ago it's the ColourPop nude mood palette it's really pretty i've been playing with that one quite a bit um i also have the jaclyn hill morphe palette that was a gift from my lover it's so pretty so i have that one i have a disney one so i have a pretty much a good variety but mainly they are like affordable palettes this one's the disney one and then i have a blush palette i really like blush palettes um this one is really pretty this one is from beach cosmetics and then my favorite palette like ever is the uh anastasia norvina palette oops which was a gift so shout out to you for gifting me this one of my friends gifted that to me this is a really pretty palette as well the physician's formula um times wiley i believe that's how you say her name like look at that it's so pretty but it broke so i'm still using it though oh and then i got this hourglass highlighter palette which i don't really use highlighter but it's pretty nice it's very pretty hourglass is kind of expensive so i don't want to like use it too too much and then I have this little baby Tarte palette that just came out not too long ago. Great everyday colors. Oh yeah, and then I have some like lashes back here too. Because we all know mine are fake. They're not real. And then I also have this Natasha Denona palette. Like look at that. It's so pretty. It's brand new. I haven't really used it all that much. And then all of these are pretty much Morty palettes like i have a good amount i had more but i'm kind of getting rid of a few this one was also a gift from my boyfriend for christmas i love it it's special to me and then i have this one as well this is the morphe 18f i used this today i love it it's so pretty by the way this one is the 25a the only thing is that these palettes get pretty dirty which i hate but i mean it's whatever oh and this palette is like my first palette my first high-end eyeshadow palette let me show you guys like what was i thinking wearing these kind of colors for like what freshman year i don't even remember but i used these for my eyebrows back when i wore like powder and stuff you know for um your brows and then here is the big daddy the morphe i think this is i have to look at the name but look at this this is the dare to create palette it is so huge but it's pretty nice if you do like makeup on people and stuff um i use this a lot when i do makeup on people when i do it and this one's the 39a so yes those are all of the palettes that i have and my somewhat small collection i used to have way more makeup but i don't know i feel like lately i've been really focusing on my skin 
so yep that's all that i have in here we're gonna move on to my bookshelf so this bookshelf is actually what i purchased to match with the desk it's sold separately but i just thought that they went good together because of the light wood so this shelf i got from target as well the same day that i bought the desk um i guess i'll go through each shelf to show you guys where i got everything from um, that little jar cupcake I bought from Marshalls and I just have candy in there. Um, I got this uh, Too Faced, co um, not Colourpop, Clover um, little makeup bag because it's so cute. And another Too Faced bag that has um, all of my like uh, skincare minis. And then a D that I got from TJ Maxx. Over here, I have some more makeup products, but just a couple. They're mainly lip products. Um, over here, I have this little container that I actually got from TJ Maxx. And I have like Too Faced, Kylie Tarte, some YSL lipsticks, which are amazing. I recently started trying to collect those. And then some Tarte and Milani and Anastasia lipsticks. Over here, I got this um, like vanity tray like for your bathroom and stuff at uh, Marshalls. And up here on this shelf, I just kind of have like my Frank Body body lotion. I have some fragrances, my Guerlain fragrance, my native deodorant, which this stuff is amazing. Like that is my favorite deodorant, guys. It's so good. And I just have a little macaroon butterfly that keeps my hair ties in there. Yep. And then down here I have like my Charlotte Tilbury um, products since they're a little bit more, um, I don't know, I like to display them and they were pretty expensive. So I like to keep them out here. And I have some samples um, of lipsticks and like foundation. And then here I have a e.l.f. moisturizer and my favorite tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier. And I have a Chanel bronzer that I got for Christmas. Uh, so this, I actually emptied out a candle um, from Bath & Body Works and I have all of my like uh, hair clips, which I got from Amazon because I do get questions about those. So that's kind of an overview of that shelf. Moving on down here, I have um, a little like, what is it? A flower bouquet that I got from TJ Maxx. And I have some books um, that I also got from TJ Maxx. Basically, everything here is from TJ Maxx. Uh, this is a book kind of storage thing. It like opens up uh, like a box. Um, I don't have anything in there, but I think it's really cute. Then down here, I have some more storage and a jewelry box that I got from Marshalls. And this one is from TJ Maxx. So here I just kind of have... Um, some jewelry that I don't really use. And then in here I have like my Bath and Body Works, you know, lotions and sprays. So that is pretty much what that looks like. And if you're wondering about that, that was actually um, a gift from my older brother that he got from the Philippines and I love it, it's so cute. So I hung it up right there. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much everything don't mind this i have some brushes that need to be cleaned um but yes so that is everything all right guys that was my whole makeup collection and vanity little setup tour i hope you guys liked it and hopefully you found some cute things that you might go out and purchase too um but if you guys want to see more videos like this then just let me know or give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and i hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching